Hello. Hello, my mindful yogis. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mike. I'm here with another mini workshop and this is going to be a bit more of an advanced one. Okay. So we're going to um, workshop some upgrades to dancer's pose and to floor bow. So I've demoed this a couple of times in different classes. I've never stopped to break it down really. Um, a couple of things before we start, don't do this with a cold body. Okay. So I've already done a little bit of a workout. I'm already warmed up. My back already feels a little bit opened up. You do not want to go with a cold body that is not worked out at all and try to do advanced back bend upgrades. Okay, that's not going to be good for your back. So make sure you just do a flow, some sun salutations. There's some like fast flows that you can try out quickly to warm up. And then the other thing I want to say is if you are still struggling with either of these poses, if you find them very challenging, this is probably a little bit too soon for you. Okay, so there's other backbend workshops you can check out that'll give you some tips about how to build strength and how to get into these poses safely and powerfully. This is a bit more advanced, okay? I also just want a presence that I'm like a freak of nature and I have really abnormal flexibility in my back, especially for a man, but like really just in general. So this is not gonna be accessible to everybody. Um, don't make that mean anything. You can give it a try, like attempt it, see what happens. If your body, your lower back screams, hell no, then listen to your lower back, don't listen to me, okay? Your body will know best if this is something that's available to you. And just because you can't get into these variations today doesn't mean that if you build strength in your um, back bend that you won't be able to do it eventually, okay? So we're gonna start in wheel because it's a little bit easier to show you how to get into it. The floor bow um, upgrade is, is more challenging in my opinion than the wheel upgrade and they're both pretty challenging. This took me a very long time to be able to access in my body. So come up onto your feet. The way that you grab onto your foot is what's going to give you access to getting up and over into this back bend. So what we're going to do is get into a wheel where we have both hands up and over our head with our foot behind us, okay, grabbed on with one of the hands. So the way you do this, start by like, imagine you're like a waiter holding like a tray of um, food, okay, so you want to start with your hand like that. You're going to bend your knee and then this is kind of tricky, I'll zoom in so you can see this a bit better. Whoop. You need to reach across the top of your foot. So the way that this works is, my fingers are wrapped around the big toe side of my foot, but my hand is coming across from the pinky toe side, okay? So hopefully you can see that. Just getting your hand in the right position alone can be a bit confusing, and it's kind of hard to show in a video. Um, it's much easier if I was there with you in person, but we don't have that world right now, Yogi, unfortunately. So from here, with the hand in the right position, you'll have the ability, maybe, to get your arm up and over your head, okay? So this is where you're aiming for first. You can take dancer like that. And if you have the foot, you can probably reach both hands back for the foot. Okay, so this is the variation. Grabbing the foot behind the head, lifting your core is strong, your back is strong. Maybe if you've got the foot, you can even like get your foot to your head, possibly. Who knows, right? Okay, we'll do the other side to even it out. Don't give up, okay? If your back is saying no, you can just watch and see and, and you know, imagine yourself doing it one day and your body might get there. Don't force anything, please. I do not want you to injure your back. This is an advanced upgrade, okay? It took me a long time to get this. So again, like you're holding a pizza pan or some drinks on a tray, bend the knee, the same side knee, and you're gonna go across the top of the foot. So I'm not grabbing the outside of my foot, okay? I wanna slide my hand across the surface of the top of my foot and then wrap my fingers around the big toe edge, so the inner edge of my foot. From here, letting that shoulder come up and around the acromion process, the top of the shoulder, and then reaching back, going for the foot. Your core is strong. You're grounding through that left foot, really pressing down. Breathe in, see where you can go. Core, strong. Breathe, inhale, exhale, and release. Huh, okay, so how you can also do this is with a yoga strap, okay? So I'm just gonna see. Okay, <laughs> I have to go search for a yoga strap. So we'll take a couple steps back, okay? I've demoed how you could get into this without any props, okay? Which again, that's a step up. I actually used a strap in order to learn how to do this in my body. So what you're gonna do here, step on the strap and then bring it up and over your shoulder. So the strap will come onto the top of your foot, the top of your ankle here. Ooh. 
right? So hand over the shoulder. You're gonna reach up over your head, grab the strap in your hands. This is just a great way to work yourself into dancer's pose to begin with, because you're gonna be able to keep the alignment a bit easier. And the more you walk your hands down the strap, the closer your hands are gonna get to your foot. And eventually here, like this is how I did this for a long time was with the strap. So getting as close to your foot as you can, keeping again, elbows up, elbows hugging towards each other, kicking back into the strap. And the more you get like closer and closer, eventually you're practically there at your foot. Okay, I'll demo it on the other side. This is just like using the strap will help you get the mobility to get your body into the pose. This isn't really gonna teach you how to grab your foot and get it up and over your head, okay? So that's kind of the next level is you, your shoulder has to come out and around that bone on the top that keeps, um, keeps it from moving there. So if you're not grabbing your foot in the correct way, you're not gonna have, just like physically, the compression of your bones might prevent you from getting into this. But again, with the strap one more time. So I'm stepping on the strap, bringing it up and over my shoulder. I think I got like a sack over my shoulder from here both hands over my head, grabbing the strap, starting to walk my hands down, getting my hands closer to my foot, closer and closer. Eventually, you'll be really close to your foot. And then this is essentially the same pose that I demoed before, only with the strap helping you get a hold of the foot. So use the strap first, and then let that be like, the next upgrade would be working to use your hand. So I'll demo one more time with the hand. Strap's a great tool. I use that for a long time. Clearly I don't use it that often because I had to go search my whole house to find it. But <laughs> in the beginning, I was really helpful for getting into it. So I'm gonna start here, got the pizza pan out beside me, bending my knee, reaching across the top of the foot. So going from the pinky top side of my foot over to the big toe side, wrapping my fingers around my inner arch and then up and around with the shoulder, reaching the other hand, looking for your foot, and then here, core. Grounding the bottom foot. Your foot on the ground is like everything for stability. Keep squeezing. See where you can take your version. If you're here, amazing. If you're not, keep working at it. Who knows what's possible? One more time to balance it out. Your, um, your opposite arm can be helpful to get balance when you're first coming into it, like the same as a dancer, have the arm outs to start, might be useful for you. Grabbing across the top of the foot, wrapping the fingers around the inner arch, and then coming up and over with the shoulder and the elbow. Breathing, don't forget to breathe. Core, keep it engaged. Kick, squeeze, See what's possible, Whoa, and you might fall out, that's okay. <laughs> Don't make it mean too much. Keep at it and keep trying, okay? I'm gonna show you the floor bow. Um, this is even more kind of crazy. <laughs> this has took me a really, really long time to be able to get into, and again, please don't argue with your back, okay? If your back is not feeling good, watch this. Build some core strength. Core is everything to support your low back. Now, what you have to do in order to do this floor bow variation is I'm grabbing both feet in the same way that I just did for the dancer variation, okay? So one side, wrapping the fingers across the top of the foot into my inner arch, and then the other side, getting a hold of my foot, coming up and over, and then there you are. Breathing, core engaged. Again, maybe you can get feet to head, you can take like a teardrop shape, possibility, and just let it come down. One foot at a time is the most graceful way to do that. Just let your hips sway for a second if you're working along here with me. I'll demo this one more time. So really, if you can get into the dancer variation, you, you have the mobility in your body probably to do this too, but just know that this is more of a strain on your low back, okay? Because it's both feet going into that same movement as um, like going dancers, it's only on one side, right? So again, starting fingers across the top of the foot, grabbing onto that inner arch, getting the other foot can always be a little bit whoop, of a whoop. <laughs> Sometimes it's not even there. So like just, I actually normally have to start with my left foot first 
to get access and then I'll go for my right foot. You might have something similar in your body coming up and over your head. Reset your hands so you got your feet firmly. Core, breathing, focused. Kick into your hands. Squeeze here, Yogi. Any variation you can play, see what's possible. Take a big breath in and whoo, release. Just feel that. Ha. Ah. All right. A couple of you reached out about how to do that, so there you go. That's how. <laughs> Knowing how doesn't mean that it'll work perfectly. Don't give up, okay? If you have issues with back mobility, then an advanced backbend upgrade is not the place to start, okay? Build core strength. It's all about core muscles. There's this airbag effect. When you suck in through core, your core, your abdominal muscles press back into the lower back and really keep stable and support um, when you're moving into these kind of variations, okay? So that's that. Comment below. I love to know that these workshops actually help you in your yoga practice. So if you get into that or get close to it, or at least get possibility in your mind, please comment below and let me know. <sighs> Whew, it's hard to talk through that kind of stuff. Keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, stay connected to your yoga practice. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Keep it growing, get more people onto their yoga mats. And if you wanna support what I'm doing, go to my Patreon. That link's also in the video description. Have an awesome rest of your day.